Hello, uh, this is Christina again and we're back to our uh, Pretty Vintage yeah. Cupcake series and today we're going to be doing the stencil cupcake uh, which is on this picture, bottom one on the right. Uh, stencil cupcakes, they are very very effective uh, looking cupcakes and yet they're very easy to make. So I hope you enjoy this video. Right, and first of all, rolling out, rolling out a fondant, uh, if it's too thick, it's going to look not very edible, but very easy to smooth out. If it's too thin, beautifully edible, but quite hard to smooth out. So you have to kind of play around with it, see what works for you, and you'll, you know, you'll find your standing on this one. So yeah. Uh, put your shimmer in a little bit of foil uh, so it's because it tends to go everywhere. One and yeah, once you have your shimmer in place, uh, here comes your stencil. Now make sure it's very clean from the previous shimmers that you may have used, especially the side that you place on the fondant itself. Yeah. Um, right. And what you do is uh, yeah, remove the. Um, a uh, spare fondant so it doesn't get covered in a uh, stray shimmer, luster and in general it uh, so it doesn't get on your way. Um, so tap, um, tap the stencil on slightly so it's in place and, and then you will um, get this best friend of any sugar craft enthusiast, uh, the little plastic um, plastic roller, uh, well worth the investment, uh, wouldn't, 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 wouldn't do, wouldn't, wouldn't do, um, glass, could use instead some kind of a glass, but yeah, no, just buy it, it's great. And kind of slowly, slowly you roll it over so it doesn't flatten it, yet lets the sugar craft a chance to kind of come through the whole pattern, and yeah, you could kind of feel it. Um, being in place, ready for uh, ready for covering. Really, it just kind of goes through this whole little lines and patterns, etc. So yeah, uh, once it's ready for covering, here we go. Um, I use a real bristle brush from Art Shop. I got it on sale, very cheap, and it's fabulous. And kind of especially if you're starting out, be plentiful. Fill it out really nicely and plentifully. Um, you know that it's going to be for cut out eventually, so in my case I'm not all that careful with the corners perhaps, uh, but yeah, when you're starting out, um, be plentiful. The sugar looster is not all that expensive, so yeah, and then we have the moment of truth. Slowly, 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 slowly peel it off. Make sure that the crazy looster doesn't get everywhere, so take it easy with it. And then, uh, yeah, all that loose is still there, and here we go. Very nice, very crisp, and a lot of people wouldn't even know that you've used your, your looster. So, I mean, your stencil. So here we go, magic. Use a plastic cutter. Um, if you, um, I have a video that teaches you how to cover flat cupcakes. So if you're not sure, watch that. It covers it in more detail. But yeah, just uh, kind of be very, very uh, gentle lifting this uh, round up. So really it just keeps its round dimensions. Um, yeah, maybe tidy up the end. Sometimes it's not very tidy, so yeah, it doesn't take long. And yeah, well, my cupcake is a bit sloppy. Sometimes when you have loads of them, then it could get a bit sloppy. But once you have the flat covering, it kind of, it's uh, it's your chance to make it nice and symmetrical. So yeah, just tap it around. Again, watch the other video if you want more guidance on this. And voila, here we go. Um, lovely, lovely, jubbly. Um, then it's another thing, oh yeah, here we go. My other stencil. Um, and the stencil, I'm going to use my most favorite shimmer, uh, the Pearl Shimmer. Lovely, lovely, beautiful. If it's a, if you only get one, get this one because it's absolutely amazing. Uh, so the Pearl Shimmer, I use makeup brush for this one just to demonstrate that, you know, there's many ways to skin the cat. Not to spend too much money. And here we go. 
here's your other pattern you use uh, this one is very important to cover evenly and here we go nice and tidy now you use one of these to tap it down nicely don't go from side to side but already tap it um, so it doesn't smudge but puts your cupcake in nice and nice and smooth and here we go your stencil is ready Christina thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and um, if you did add us to like because that kind of what makes me um, put out more videos um, also um, you can find more videos on cakes and uh, cupcakes decorating on our learning center uh, please check those out uh, and uh, finally if you want to know what's coming up next every each month or uh, get our subscribers exclusive previews um, yeah please subscribe um, and um, again thank you for watching and um, I hope uh, I'll see you soon